In this episode I go dinghy shopping, discussing some new projects and my friend Kylie gets another surprise. Holy shit! Did you see that? <laughs> After lots of fun last week, Kylie also got a rig inspection. We started this week going into Carib's service pier again. They are already going to start on Kylie's boat, so I'm of course joining her to dock her boat. It's one, one window, the whole thing. Yes. Yeah. While Sergio is inspecting the windows on Wonderful, I'm taking a quick run to their store to see if I can find a new dinghy. And how quick they can deliver as mine is totally dead. Philip already knew from my YouTube that I desperately needed a new dinghy. You need a new one. I feel. Like the floor is like... Yes, uh, yes, looks, yes. Looks it's really special for the, the, new, yeah. the new one. It looks really uh, posh. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you can have the fuel tank in the locker you room? You can. They really managed to convince me about this being the right one for me. So many brilliant details and I'm totally blown away. All the things that's been so annoying with my old one, this one have clever solutions and I can see now why it's so popular. One is, uh, I think this is it's so many details. I like, you can, you can, you can. Do you have the, we talked about the 290, do you have that? Yes, stuff? we have in stock. I think you have, uh, we have only in a, in a carry mine, you have a bigger stock to uh, uh, I feel. Oh, wow. So I can actually have it pretty fast because my dinghy is uh, like dead. very old. Yeah, yeah, and then okay. no, it's not old. It's it's actually two years old, but it's all okay. Dead. Yeah. Yes. I Meanwhile, outside the workshop, Kylie was in for a surprise with her windows. It's not like she not had this on her radar because she have actually been trying to replace them for a while, but that it was this bad, we did not know. Oh no, it's good. Oh wow. So it's not good. Oh shit! Did you see that? <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! That's a new year. That's why it's not leaking, right? Because it's no. All right, it's time for a window replacement. <laughs> Thanks. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah. <laughs> you know? That was a little bit uh, surprised, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, that was a real surprise. I had no idea. This, from my point of view, like the windows just were kind of sun crazed. And talking to Sergio and Gaten, they were saying that once they get sun crazed, they're really at the end of their life. Like you've maybe got a little bit of time left on them, but you don't want to be going into like the depths of beyond or having big waves pounding the windows because like, they will just shatter eventually like they're already weakened and compromised but then when Sergio went and he just like pressed here like like this is insane like it's actually not connected at all at the bottom here so this is an excellent time to be doing the windows <laughs> and once your boat start reaching 10-12 years Mm. There's a lot of things that need to be addressed. Really, really, especially if you're going to sail like into places where there's not a lot of places to get work done mm. and if you're actually going to challenge the boat pretty heavily with some decent strong sailing. So something like that, like, yeah, I'm really glad that these guys can do this here. Like, I'm super surprised. Like, I've tried six months with my assistant, with Benito, like just back and forth trying to like confirm on the parts and get them in and just not having any luck. Usually they're good with other stuff but the windows have been really challenging and to find a guy like this who knows his stuff and is going to do a really quality job like here in the Caribbean and has his own oven to actually form them completely, like get the right curvature and make exact copies and make sure they're sealed. I'm really really happy. This is like so lucky. Oh, I'm really happy. <laughs> you look so hot. <laughs> like, seriously hot. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so yesterday was a hot day? Yes. Uh, was you not supposed to be non-alcoholic today? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> She's like, yeah, it's, just, it's a double as well, which is... And I'm like, try the same Our beautiful friends had invited us for dinner. What are you making? Yeah, it's uh, a little bit of tomato uh, risotto yeah, yeah. with some chorizo. Like <laughs> gin on the side. And a gin on the side. Yeah, Obviously. Yeah, <laughs> 
Yesterday was definitely a fun night, but back to business as we have lots of things to sort out. At least Kylie finally will get her windows sorted out, as they have lots of experience replacing windows here. I could see ongoing projects on everything from a lagoon to a pretty new ML. Our friends here gave us the full tour of all their departments, and I learned something new every time I'm here. I have postponed some projects myself as I want it to be done here. It depends on the thickness, but it goes from an hour to two hours. But first, I'm gonna take Kylie's dinghy back out to the anchorage and pick up my own boat. I was out there in Saint Anne, uh, taking up my anchor and moving B3 into Le Marin. I'm gonna be closer to Carib Marine because I need them to um, see on a few things on my boat and also a little bit closer to Tally that has also something she needs to do. So I just try to pay a little attention on what's going on around me here. It's quite a busy channel. So anyway, it's a beautiful day. Um, really can't wait to share some other news with you guys later. I have been doing some design work I'm not sure about yet, but at least I want to discuss the options. I would like to be able to easily lift my dinghy for the evenings while at anchor. I will still have my dinghy in the garage when sailing, but it's too much hassle with a 15 horsepower on off on a daily base. Come from here to here and uh, you can lift yeah. like that to take the dinghy and uh, it's a good solution. I think so. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Outside the metal workshop, my new dinghy was already being prepared to be transported to the other dock. I was so happy to be there and film it as well. Unboxing new things is always fun, and who wanna miss that? There is a big quality difference in dinghies, and PVC doesn't last long in the tropical sun. However, the major problem with my two-year-old dinghy is the poor quality in glue, making it just falling apart everywhere. I'm definitely gonna invest in a cover as well to extend the lifetime of my new dinghy. Also come with even a, a dry bag. This is unbelievable. <laughs> I feel dry bag to go with the dinghy. <laughs> How awesome is this? I don't look here. <laughs> it's even a locker for the fuel tank so it won't fly around inside the boat um, the oars is on the side and really nice pocket here for the blades of the oars it's so cool such a beautiful dinghy <laughs> now it's gonna be interesting to test out how it performs. I've heard that this new model has slightly bigger tubes and in combination with the splash guard around the tubes it's supposed to give you a dry ride. It's obviously slightly overpowered with a 15 horsepower enduro, so it's gonna be fun to experience the ludicrous mode on this one. As you can see, I'm not getting wet ride on this one. I can't wait to try it out in more waves to see if it's still able to keep me dry. But so far, I'm super impressed. Enough playing around for now. Kylie and I are in the fast lane and have tons of things to do. You probably noticed in previous episodes not only my lazy bag is destroyed by the sun, but also the umbrella on my Genoa. I also have some things I'm not happy with my mainsail and I need to redesign it as it's in my head seems a bit wrong cut in the lower section. Taking off this big mainsail alone is quite a task and I need a perfect day like this with no wind to make it easy. I have learned myself some techniques and it's also too heavy for me to carry alone. But living on a sailboat you have a big crane you can use to anything from hoisting sails to take your dinghy out of the water. And with this done and the mainsail hoist into my cockpit I was ready with everything for today, just in time for the sunset. And tomorrow I hope for no win, so I have an easy task taking down my Genoa as well. Hopefully I can get it all delivered to the sail loft on Monday. 
It will take a few weeks until I can share sailing videos like this again. But that's how it is. I still hope you hang around here for more. I want to thank you for subscribing and watching. Stay safe and healthy and all the best. Cheers. Singing my